ಅದು ಆನ್ ಆಯ್ತಾ ಅಂದೆ ಆಫ್ ಆಯ್ತಾ ಅಂದೆ ಸಿಟಿ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ರಿ ಟೆಂಬಲ್ಸ್ ಪ್ರೈಮರಿ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಸಕ್ಕು ಡಯಾಗ್ರಾಮ್ ಫಾರ್ ಪರ್ಸೆಂಟೇಜ್ ಆನ್ ಪೇಜ್ ಆ್ಯಂಗ್ಯುಲರ್ ಆಫ್ ಸಿ ಟಿ ವಿತ್ ಕರೆಂಟ್ ಆನ್ ಸೋಮರ್ ರೇಷಿಯೋ ಅರ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಪೇಜ್ ಆ್ಯಂಗ್ಯುಲರ್ ಆಫ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಮೆಸರಿಂಗ್ ದ ಸಿಂಗಲ್ ಪೇಜ್ ಸಪ್ಲೈ ಇಸ್ ಕನೆಕ್ಟೆಡ್ ಥ್ರೂ ಡಿ ಪಿ ಎಸ್ ಟಿ ಸ್ವಿಚ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಆಟೋ ಟಾನ್ ಸೋಮರ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಅಮ್ ಮೀಟರ್ಸ್ ಟು ಅಮ್ ಮೀಟರ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಕನೆಕ್ಟೆಡ್ ಆಫ್ ಅದರ್ ಟಿ ಕರೆಂಟ್ ಆನ್ ಸೋಮರ್ ಇಸ್ ಕನೆಕ್ಟೆಡ್ ಇನ್ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ರಿ ಆಫ್ ಕರೆಂಟ್ ಆನ್ ಸೋಮರ್ ವಿ ಕನೆಕ್ಟೆಡ್ ಎನ್ ಅಮ್ ಮೀಟ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಸರ್ಕ್ಯೂ ಡಯಾಗ್ರಾಮ್ ನೌ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಗಿವಿಂಗ್ ದ ಕನೆಕ್ಷನ್ಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ದಿಸ್ ಸರ್ಕ್ಯೂ ಡಯಾಗ್ರಾಮ್ ಯೂಶಲಿ ದ ಸಿಂಗಲ್ ಪೇಜ್ ಆಟೋ ಟಾನ್ ಸೋಮರ್ ಇಸ್ ಕನೆಕ್ಟೆಡ್ ದ ಫೇಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ನೋಟ್ರಲ್ ದ ಫೇಸ್ ಈಸ್ ಕನೆಕ್ಟೆಡ್ ಟು ಓಲ್ಡ್ ಮೀಟರ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಓಲ್ಡ್ ಮೀಟರ್ ಇಸ್ ಕನೆಕ್ಟೆಡ್ ಟು ನೋಟ್ರಲ್ ದಿಸ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ಓಲ್ಡ್ ಮೀಟರ್ ವಿ ಕನೆಕ್ಟೆಡ್ ಆಫ್ಟರ್ ದಟ್ ಅಗೇನ್ ದ ಅನದರ್ ಫೇಸ್ ಈಸ್ ಕನೆಕ್ಟೆಡ್ ಟು ಅಮ್ ಮೀಟರ್ ದಿಸ್ ಈಸ್ ಕನೆಕ್ಟೆಡ್ ಟು ಅಮ್ ಮೀಟರ್ ಆಫ್ಟರ್ ದಟ್ ಅಮ್ ಮೀಟರ್ ಈಸ್ ಕನೆಕ್ಟೆಡ್ ಟು ಕರೆಂಟ್ ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ಫಾರ್ಮರ್ ದ ಕರೆಂಟ್ ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ಫಾರ್ಮರ್ ಪ್ರೈಮರಿ ವೈಂಡಿಂಗ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಕೇಬಲ್ ಇಟ್ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ಆಕ್ಸೆಸ್ ಪ್ರೈಮರಿ ವೈಂಡಿಂಗ್ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ರಿ ವೈಂಡಿಂಗ್ ಟರ್ಮಿನಲ್ಸ್ ಎಸ್ ಒನ್ ಎಸ್ ಟು ಆರ್ ಕನೆಕ್ಟೆಡ್ ಟು ಅಮ್ ಮೀಟರ್ ಇಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ಸ್ಟೆಪ್ ಡೌನ್ ದ ಕರೆಂಟ್ ವಾಟ್ ವಿ ಮೆಸರ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದಟ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಟೇಕಿಂಗ್ ದ ರೀಡಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಅಗೇನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಕೇಬಲ್ ಈಸ್ ಕನೆಕ್ಟೆಡ್ ಟು ಲೋಡ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಲೋಡ್ ನೋಟ್ರಲ್ ಟರ್ಮಿನಲ್ ಈಸ್ ಕನೆಕ್ಟೆಡ್ ಟು ಅಗೇನ್ ಕರೆಂಟ್ ಕಾನ್ಸ್ಟ್ರಕ್ಟರ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಸರ್ಕ್ಯೂಟ್ ಡಯಾಗ್ರಾಮ್ ನಾವು ಕರೆಂಟ್ ಸರ್ಕ್ಯೂಟ್ ಆ್ಯಸ್ ಪರ್ ದ ಸರ್ಕ್ಯೂಟ್ ಡಯಾಗ್ರಾಮ್ ಸ್ವಿಚ್ ಆನ್ ದ ಡಿ ಪಿ ಎಸ್ ಟಿ ಸ್ವಿಚ್ ಆಫ್ ಅದರ್ ನೋಟ್ ಆನ್ ದ ರೀಡಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಅಮ್ ಮೀಟರ್ ಬೈ ವೇರಿಂಗ್ ದ ಲೋಡ್ ಬೈ ವೇರಿಂಗ್ ದ ಲೋಡ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಟೇಕಿಂಗ್ ದ ರೀಡಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದಟ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಕ್ಯಾಲ್ಕುಲೇಟಿಂಗ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಕ್ಯಾಲ್ಕುಲೇಟಿಂಗ್ ದ ಪವರ್ ರೇಷ್ಯೋ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಪೇಜ್ ಆ್ಯಂಗ್ಲರ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಕರೆಂಟ್ ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ಫಾರ್ಮರ್ಸ್ ಅಂದರೆ ನಾವು ವಿ ಆರ್ ಸ್ವಿಚ್ ನಾವು ಆ ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ಫಾರ್ಮರ್ಸ್ This indication gives the current transformer is in uh, the auto transformer is in on condition. Now by varying this rated voltage we have to provide for this load. For this load, resistive load, we are applying rated voltage. Now adjust this auto transformer. Are you seeing this? Are you seeing this voltmeter? Carefully observe. where vary this voltage it is into to r1 into to it is the voltmeter showing uh, some rated voltage into to it is 110 115 115 put 115 put 115 
this is the load current actually this is the ammeter secondary current the ammeter shows zero now we are applying this load one by one and take the readings now see the voltmeter ammeter reading ammeter showing the real condition there is no again uh, where is this slow again where is this slow again where is this slow again coming it's coming early this ammeter shows zero there. this is the current transformer 50 by 5 50 amperes if you give primary the secondary it will give maximum 5 amps this is current transformer it is also known as current coil 50 by 5 amps current transformer primary winding this yellow color winding y, y axis primary winding and the secondary step down after that it will give the meter reading will be obtained secondary normally connected to meters all the meters in four panels in substation panels we are connecting this current transformer to step down the current level for meter 100 amps 200 amps meter is very difficult to construct hence we are using current transformer to step down the current We have to provide the fuse wire is below melting point, below load current. Suppose the load current is 10 amps, we have to provide fuse wire is below 10 amps. Fuse wire, fuse carrier it is. One ten volts. One fifteen. One fifteen. Rated voltage is two thirty. Two thirty means one one five. One one five. Again, where is 115 rated voltage we applied for this load? Now, see the voltmeter reading. Put a switch on the load. Switch on. Switch on. Switch on. 115 volts, that is 230 volts for this load. After that, we are switching on the load. Now we are switching on the load by seeing this ammeter. Now the load current is 2 amperes. It's varying. The secondary of ammeter is connected. Secondary of CT is connected to the ammeter. Now it's showing 0 0.1, 0 0.2 amps. 0 0.2 amps it is. It's showing 0 0.2 amps. That means whenever the current is 4 amps, the CT step downs the current into 0 0.2 amps. Now we are taking the readings. Here, near the current on summer, we provided the windings. For primary current, uh, 4 amps. First, we have to provide 2 amps. 2 amps, uh, what is secondary current? We have to note down. Now it will be provided to 4 amps here. The primary current is 4 amps. Now it is showing 0 0.2 amps. 0 0.2 it is. Now we have to increase the load again. Primary current and secondary current we have to increase the load. Now it's showing 6 amps nearly 5.9. 6 amps, 6 amps. The current uh, this reading is CT second reading is 0 0.3. 0 0.3. The assume that is 0 0.35 CT secondary will be like that. So many readings we are taking from that uh, I1 by I2 near the ratio transformation ratio we are calculating from that ratio error will be calculated. Okay, and this 2 2 
2 amps for that secondary it is 0 0.1 secondary current will be approximately secondary current will be approximately 0 0.1 ct secondary current now put uh, 3 amps load for different loads what is the phase angle ratio error will be calculated now we are switching on another load 4, four will come the load is 4 for 3 amps we have to switch off another load hmm. Now we have varied the load, it is showing the 7.8 amps. 7.8 amps, the, what is the secondary current is? 0.42. This is the secondary current. Now we taken the current of some primary and secondary currents. Nominal ratio is 50 by 5. 50 by 5 means uh, here the nominal ratio will be on the nameplate details of current transformer. 50 by 5 is the current transformer nominal ratio 50 by 5 is there this 50 by 5 is current transformer nominal ratio here we mentioned current transformer nominal ratio kn 50 by 5 is how much 50 by 5 10 10 10 10 10 now here what is the ratio i1 by i2 we this ratio we have to consider 2 by 0 0.1 2 okay. by 0 0.1 2 next 4 by 0 0.2 6 by 0 0.35, 7 by 8, 0 0.42. Now we are calculating these values. R, Kn minus R by R gives ratio error. I1 minus I2. Kn minus R, ratio error will be Kn minus R by R, R into 100 gives ratio error. Okay. Based on this, we will calculate percentage ratio error on current transfer. Bus bars, the conductor will be flow like this. From the conductor, a conductor itself acts as conductor itself acts as primary winding. This is the secondary winding. The winding which we provided here, it is known as secondary winding. Conductor will be inside actually. Bus bars, and if you go for panels, power panels, the bus bars will be like this. Conductor R, Y, B, three phase, three current transformers will be provided. From this current transformer. It is type ratio is 50 by 5 and class is class is VA is 5 VA and year of manufacture is 2013 manufactured by Karthika Electricals this is LV 3 kilovolts also we can apply 50 H this is the nameplate data P1 and P2 potential transformer are used to measure voltages it is the current transformer we are measuring the current by using this experiment number one serial number one that is for two amps primary current for two amps secondary current is 0 0.1 nominally our ct is 50 by 5 is the ct ratio from that kn is 10 r is 0 0.1 by i2 by i1 or i1 by i2 i1 by, by i2 i1 by i2 transformation ratio i1 is this one <laughs> 2 by 2 by 0 0.1 gives how much value 2 by 0 0.1 200 kn minus sir from this uh, kn 10 uh, this value and this value divided by this value gives into 100 gives ratio error similarly we obtained uh, in the table column for 4 amps for 4 amps primary current uh, secondary current is 0 0.2 now it is 0 0.2 nominal ratio is 50 by 5 10, sir. 10 again i1 by i2 that is uh, transformation ratio i1 by i2 i1 is 4 by 0 0.1 0 0.2 4 by 0 0.2 2. gives 4 by 0 0.2 gives hey, Akash, sir, 4 by 0 0.2 gives 20 20 now ratio, ratio error is kn minus r kn minus r 10 minus 20 by 20. 20 into 100 gives percentage ratio error. That is uh, minus 50 percent. Minus 50 percent. Minus 50 percent percentage ratio error. Like that, so many values we will calculate for uh, so many readings. What is the ratio error?